President Obama is talking jobs and the economy in a different venue this morning on daytime TV. CBS News senior White House correspondent Bill Plant has the latest. Good morning, Bill. Good morning to you, Betty. Well, it's no secret that in this lousy economy, a lot of folks have tuned out politicians. So the president is trying to reach people who may not normally pay attention to politics. And today, he appears on the daytime talk show, The View. What has been gratifying is the fact that uh, the economy now is starting to stabilize and grow again. And what's been satisfying is just seeing how resilient the American people are. It's not the first time the president has reached out to audiences beyond the Washington Beltway. But it is the beginning of the Democrats' strategy to try to save their majority in Congress. I hear that uh, the, uh, the super sub with everything is the right way to go. In an Edison, New Jersey sub shop, the president blamed Republicans for holding up a bill with tax cuts for small business. This is as American as apple pie. Then he pivoted from small business to big money. Two fundraisers in Manhattan on behalf of congressional Democrats who believe he hasn't done enough to get them reelected. No pictures allowed, but it cost 100 guests $30,400 each, the maximum allowed in a campaign cycle to get in. That cash will help finance the Democrats' election year strategy. Party chairman Tim Kaine laid it out, charging that the Republican Party and the Tea Party have become one and the same. The Republican Party agenda has become the Tea Party agenda and vice versa. That's what you'll be hearing for the next three months. Meanwhile, the president will continue to vacuum up campaign dollars. Several more big events next week. Betty? All right, CBS's Bill Plant at the White House. Thank you, Bill.